Hi friends, I am your Kartik Ravindra Kate and this is Kartik Tori. And good afternoon and welcome to this class. In previous class, we learnt about non-equal solvents and also we compared with this with that of water. And in this class, we are going to discuss about reactions in liquid ammonia. What kind of reactions occurs in liquid ammonia? Let me go one by one. You please keep writing. So that I can easily rub the way. The first one is auto ionization. Auto ionization. I have discussed it in one of my video, but in this video it is uh, only meant for liquid ammonia. So auto ionization of liquid ammonia. See, I told one mole of ammonia, other mole of ammonia. This is going to give H plus, so it acts as acid. And it takes that X plus and X as base. Once it gives X plus, it becomes conjugate base. And one which takes that X plus, it becomes conjugate acid. This is nothing but auto ionization. So it is conjugate base and it is conjugate acid. It is conjugate base of this ammonia, acidic ammonia. And this is conjugate acid of base, basic ammonia. This is about auto ionization. And one more thing is, see, this NH2 minus acts as base in ammonia solvent. Like OH minus acts as base in water solvent, in the same way NH2 minus acts as base in ammonia solvent. And as H plus acts as acid in water solvent, in the same way this NH4, not 3. Should be NH4 plus acts as acid in ammonia. This is about auto ionization and also reactions like acid base reaction, which we have discussed. See, I told this NH4 acts as acid. Now, let us consider this example NH4 plus Cl minus. So, I am going to write NH4 Cl and reacted with Na. NH2 this is Na plus NH2 minus this acts as acid because NH4 plus and because of this NH2 minus it acts as base so in liquid ammonia all reactions are in liquid ammonia now I am going to get ammonia solvent 2 molecule of solvent plus NaCl salt acid when reacts with base gives me salt and Solve that uh, ammonia solvent. So this is about uh, auto ionization. And next thing is solubilizers. We have discussed this thing in general non-equal solvent. I have discussed all these things. Auto uh, that is here it is solubilizers. Solvo means solvent. Lysis means breaking. Breaking of solvent is nothing but solubilizers. So here since it is ammonia, this is amino lysis. The second one is ammonia lysis. Ammonia lysis. What happens is, see, if I consider FeCl3 in presence of water, here I am going to consider aqueous solution. I am going to get FeOH price, isn't it? Plus 3 moles of HCl. Price. Uh, is it balanced? No. Now it is balanced. So this is nothing but hydrolysis because H is going to break as H plus and OH minus. This OH minus is going to form compound with Fe and this H plus is going to form compound with Cl and this is hydrolysis because it is taking place in presence of H2 as solvent. If we consider the solvent to be ammonia, then it is amino lysis. And the examples for amino lysis are, see here I have one, SiCl4 plus 8 molecules of ammonia is going to give me SiNH twice 4 times plus 4 molecules of 
ammonia chloride. This is nothing but amino lysis. This ammonia breaks down into NH2 minus and NH4 plus. So it is amino lysis. One more example is the same thing as I considered FeCl3. Now again I consider FeCl3 in presence of six molecules of ammonia. I am going to get Fe NH2 plus plus three molecules of ammonia chloride. This is one more reaction for amino lysis, isn't it? Next, we shall discuss about uh, some more things are there. Let me discuss here. So these two examples, I hope you have written. If not, please go back and see the video. See, this is you know associated to thionyl chloride. Thionyl chloride, SOCl2. Thionyl chloride and reacted with four moles of ammonia. What happens? Just exchange of ions, C, CO, it will be 2 plus no. So NH2 minus and 2. Just we should rearrange like that and here two so two molecules of NH4 plus Cl minus so I am going to get NH4 Cl isn't it the reaction is easy it is also example for amino lysis isn't it I hope the reaction is balanced 2 to 4 nitrogen are balanced 4 3 is 12 4 4 to the 8, 8 plus 2, 12, SO2, SO2, yeah. The reaction is balanced. The next thing is, instead of thionyl chloride, let me consider sulfonyl chloride. That is SO2, Cl2. This is sulfonyl chloride. Chloride, you write yourself, let me write thionyl, sulfonyl. You should know. SO means thionyl, SO2 means sulfonyl. This sulfonyl when react with 4 moles of ammonia. Now I am going to get SO2 NH2 twice plus uh, two molecules of ammonia chloride. This is also amino lysis because ammonia is breaking into two parts. One is acid that is NH4 plus, other one is base that is NH2 minus. The next comes is solvation. The third one is solvation. Since it is taking place in liquid ammonia, so what we are going to call it? We are going to call it as ammoniation. Solvation is nothing but ammoniation in case of liquid ammonia. I think I am a little bit fast, but it is not going to matter for you because it is nothing but the reactions. If you understand what it is, whether I may be fast or slow, it's no doubt. You can understand. So it is ammoniation. Addition of ammonia molecule. I explained you that CuSO4 into 5 molecules of H2O. In presence of 5 molecules of H2O, it forms CuSO4 into 5H2O. That is nothing but hydration in aqueous water. In the same way, if I consider ammonia, that is CaCl2, consider this salt in presence of 8 molecules of ammonia, I am going to get calcium Cl2 into 8 ammonia. Yeah, into multiplication. That is, the ammonia group has been attached to this compound, so it is ammoniation. The one more example is sulfur dioxide, SO2. This sulfur dioxide, when read with Two molecules of ammonia, I got SO2 into 2 NH3. This is nothing but ammoniation. And this is nothing but calcium chloride into octa ammoniation, ammonia, octa ammonia. And this is sulfur dioxide into di ammonia. This is about ammoniation. And next, there are few more things. These, these are nothing but which I have discussed in my previous class. So I am moving a little bit faster. The next effect that is fourth effect is labeling effect of liquid ammonia. The, this thing also I have discussed in my previous video. So let me be fast so that I can complete it this chapter. 
and we shall move it some other chapter isn't it so the next that is fourth one is labeling effect of red ammonia labeling effect of liquid ammonia this thing also we have discussed see i told that cl is an acid when reacted with, with ammonia what happens it forms nh4 plus plus cl minus isn't it acid reacts with base forms salt nh4 cl nh4 cl is nothing but salt i can write nh4 cl as nh4 plus and cl minus no problem this see this we know but we know that this hcl is a strong acid because of strong dissociation but this h3coh which was a weak acid in h2o medium but the same acetic acid that is h3coh is strong acid in presence of ammonia so what it forms nh4 plus plus CH3COO minus nothing but uh, uh, ammonium salt of acetic acid, the compound which is also a salt. So here this ammonia has labeled labeling effect, labeled the effect of both acid. This was strong acid and it was weak acid in case of H2O medium, but both are strong acid in case of ammonia medium. This is about. Uh, labeling effect of mm, ammonia and the one more thing this you know oxalic acid COH COH this is also a very weak acid when it reacted with ammonia it also forms uh, COO minus COO minus if I consider two molecule of ammonia then two molecule of NH4 plus this is also a labeling effect of ammonia and one more thing we know that urea NH2CO NH2 that urea is unreacted with water it won't react it is like a neutral compound because it has not got any acid group or base group so it will be little basic or neutral this is nothing but urea we know but this urea in presence of ammonia what happens is it acts as weak acid it uses H plus forming C the compound is like this C double bond O NH minus and this minus will undergo delocalization so it acts as weak acid and also this acid is stable because of this resonance it is stable forming NH4 plus so the compound which was nothing in aqueous medium H2 but the same compound acts as weak acid in liquid ammonia and also it is it acting as a uh, weak acid because of this stability there is resonance because of that resonance it acts as stable compound so this is some reactions of liquid ammonia in next class we shall discuss some more reactions of liquid ammonia then we shall switch into the liquid sulfur dioxide then we shall complete this chapter and it is small class on reactions of liquid ammonia we shall meet in next class till then take care and have a great day bye